Hello everyone. So in this video, we will learn how to create Jira issues on new form submission. So imagine this, you have generated a new response in Google Forms. So you want to create an issue in Jira software. So here you have two choices. Either you can copy all the responses from Google Forms, sort it out and manually create an issue in Jira. Now this approach is repetitive and tiresome. Or you can bring in some automation so that when a new response is created in Google Forms, it will automatically create an issue in Jira. So here I'm sending my Google Forms data to Jira. Now this approach can also work on similar SaaS like Asana, Bugzilla and Basecamp. So in this video, we will be using Pabli Connect to integrate Google Forms and Jira software. The best part of using Pabli Connect is there is no need for coding skills or programming knowledge. It can be done easily. Let me show you on my screen. Okay, so we will begin with a small example. So this is my Google form and it has been titled project creation. And these are the two blanks I have uh, made the summary as well as the description. So the idea is that whenever a new submission is made in this particular form, a new issue will be created in Jira. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to make some submission. So the summary is uh, Python error. Okay, Python error. And the description is uh, the for loop has failed. The for loop and while loop has failed. Okay, so this is a small description. So let me just click on submit. Okay, so a submission has been made in Google Forms. So let's have a look in Jira. Do we have an issue created? So let me just uh, refresh this. Okay. Okay, so as you can see, we do have an issue called as Python error and uh, the presence of uh, this particular issue shows that we have an integration between Google Forms and Jira issues. So this is what we plan to do. Anytime a new submission is made in Google Forms, it will be reflected as an issue in Jira. Now to begin the actual integration process, uh, first just type Pabli Connect, Pabli.com in your browser, Pabli.com. Okay, so we will be using Pabli Connect to integrate Google Forms and Jira. Pabli Connect is an automation software. So let me just uh, click on sign in. This is the website of Pabli.com. Let me just uh, click on sign in. Okay, so as you can see, I'm working on incognito mode. So your obvious question is why are we working on incognito mode? Okay, so this is because the integration of Google Forms and Jira involves the creation of a Google Sheet. Now, while working with Google Sheet, it is always advisable to work in incognito mode because uh, while using Google Sheets, you will be working with multiple Gmail accounts. And if you're using multiple Gmail accounts to create a Google Sheet or work with Google Sheet, there must be a trouble in authorizing it. So that is why we are going to use uh, incognito mode while we are working with Google Sheets. It's always advisable. Okay, so this is the dashboard of Public Connect. As you can see, I already have made an account in Public Connect. You can also create your own free account in just two, two minutes. So just uh, scroll down and here you will find connect. Just click on access now. Okay, so at the top right corner, you will find a button, create workflow, click this. A dialog box appears in front of you. It is asking you to give a name to this workflow. I'm going to give it as Google Forms to Jira. Google Forms to Jira. And then just click on create. Okay, so when you click on create, a window appears in front of you. This is called as the trigger window. So basically, we are going to create a new workflow. Now, after creating this workflow, I will attach the link of this workflow in the description box as well. So just in case, if you want to access this workflow, you can directly clone it to your account by signing up for free. Okay, so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to select an app. So in the choose app, how about we make it as Google Forms because we want to receive the data from Google Forms. Okay, Google Forms it is. Now in the trigger event, how about we make it as new response in a spreadsheet. Okay, so new response in a spreadsheet is a trigger event. So your obvious question is what is a trigger event? Trigger is basically a if statement. It asks a question if the condition is met, what should be done? For example, if a new response is made in Google Forms or a new submission is made in Google Forms, then what action should be taken by the system? Now at present, uh, the trigger event is kept as new response in a spreadsheet. Now your obvious question is why we have kept the trigger event as new response in a spreadsheet. It should be something like new response in Google Forms or new submission in Google Forms. Now the reason uh, we have kept the trigger event as a new response in spreadsheet is that Google Forms sent the data directly to Google Sheets. From Google Sheets using Public Connect, we can send it to other apps like Jira. So what I'm going to do here is I'm just uh, going to take it, take you to my Google Forms. So there is a new uh, 
form that I have created. So this is the form called as a Jira issue creation. Okay. So let me just uh, change the description as uh, short answer type. That's the one we want. Okay. So basically this is uh, the same, uh, not the same, a newly created form that I have created Jira issue creation. Okay. And these are the two fields we have summary as well as the description. Now to begin the actual integration process, uh, first of all, you just have to go to the last field. So this is the last field called as a description and I'm going to toggle required as to the right. So we'll make sure that this particular field is required. So this will basically act as a trigger that will send the data to Google Sheet so when a form submission is made. Okay, so what I'm going to do here is I'm just uh, going to click on responses. Okay, and I'm just going to click on this button. So when I click on this button, it will create a particular spreadsheet for this uh, particular Google Forms. So let me just uh, click on this icon to create a spreadsheet for this particular uh, Google Forms. Okay, so here we have two choices, create a new spreadsheet, select an existing spreadsheet. I'm going with creating a new spreadsheet. Now the default name it is giving it as uh, Jira issue creation. Okay, so I'm not changing it. I like that default name that is Jira issue creation. So let me just click on create. Okay, so a new spreadsheet is being created. Yes, and it has been created. So basically it has the same fields that we have in our Google Forms summary as well as the description. Additional, there is a column called as a timestamp. So basically the timestamp is the time at which the submission was made. So basically, let me just show you if you don't remember this. Okay, so this is the form. Okay, so this is the fields summary as well as the description. Okay, so basically these two fields that is present here is just being reflected here. Okay, this is because this is the Google Sheet that is associated with this particular form okay so basically public connect will capture the data from this particular google sheet okay so now to begin the actual integration process with this particular google sheet let me just click on add-ons okay so when you click on add-on you can see public connect webhooks now in your case uh, you are starting new so public connect webhooks might not have been installed yet so what i'm going to do here is we will go to this part called as get add-ons so we will get this add-on called as public connect webhook from this place called as uh, google workspace marketplace Place. So this is the place that where you will get the add-on Google Workspace Marketplace. So basically all you have to do is uh, just type Public Connect Webhooks. This one. Okay. So as you can see Public Connect Webhook is already installed in my system. All you have to do is just click on this button and Public Connect Webhooks will be installed in your spreadsheet also. Now after installing it, uh, do not forget to refresh uh, your Google Sheet. I repeat again, after installing the Public Connect Webhook add-ons in your Google Sheet, do not forget to refresh it. Okay, so let me just uh, cancel this. Go back to add-ons, click on Public Connect Webhooks and let me just click on Initial Setup. Okay, so it is the window of Initial Setup. Now, as you can see, we have two blanks to fill the webhook URL as well as the trigger column. Now we will start with the trigger column. Now remember this, always the last data entry column is the trigger column. In our case, the last data entry column is column C. Okay, because after column C, there is no, la there is no entry. So last data entry column is always the trigger column. So our trigger column is column C and I have mentioned it. Now coming to the webhook URL. So this is the most important part. So to get the webhook URL, let me go to public connect and copy this. Okay, so this is the webhook URL you want. I have copied the webhook URL and I'm going to paste it here. Okay, so I'm just going to paste it here. So we have entered the webhook URL. We have also mentioned our trigger column. So basically all I'm going to do here is I'm just going to click on submit. Okay, so the initial window has disappeared. Let me just once again go to add-ons, go back to public connect webhooks and just click on send on event. So this will ensure that anytime column C is filled, it will keep sending on the data. So basically at this point, we have integrated this particular Google Sheet to public connect. This means that anytime column C is filled, public connect has to capture the data. So as to ensure that public connect captures this data, let me go to public connect and let me just click on this button, capture webhook response, click this. Okay, so it is showing it is waiting for the data. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to go back to my Google Forms. Okay, and here I'm just going to click on preview. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to make some entry. So imagine this, uh, the new entry is something like uh, Java. Or how about let's again go with Python. Python uh, library field. Python library field. And the description is something like uh, web crawler selenium not working so this is the description web uh, crawler okay, i'm sorry about the spelling 
uh, web crawler selenium is not working so when i click on submit uh, this will send this data to google sheet and from google sheet public connect will capture this data let me just click on submit and i will show you so let me take you to my google sheet yes the data has arrived so this is the summary python library field and this is the description excellent so let's have a look since uh, column c is already filled whether public connect has captured this data or not so let's have a look yes so we have the data the summary is python library field the description is web crawler selenium not working excellent so basically now using this data we are going to create an issue in jira now to do that let me just uh, click on this plus button okay so when you click on this plus button another uh, window opens up this is called as the action window now in the choose app how about we make it as jira jira it is now in the action event how about make it as create an issue okay so create an issue as an action event there are many more action events like update issue add issue watcher add comment get user by id and so on all of them are bunch of action events now just select the triggers if you have trouble finding the action events according to your choice you can make a request to our team at admin at the rate pabri.com to custom build an action event for you but at present i just want to create an issue from the data that we have received from google forms so let us make us create an issue uh, then click on connect with jira software then again in the new credentials connect with jira software okay so public connect is demanding access to my account now before you click on accept there is something you should know public connect doesn't take any chances with your data your data is 100 percent safe and secure with us okay so on the basis of that trust let me just click on accept okay so the authorization is successful just press ok Okay, so when you click on OK, a set of blanks has appeared in front of you. The purpose of these blanks is very simple. We are going to create an issue in Jira from the data that we have received from Google Forms via Public Connect. So as you can see, uh, we have a project called as Black Hole. When we just uh, expand this list, this in the drop down, you can find all the projects that is present in my Jira account. Let me just take you to my Jira account. So this is my Jira account and these are the projects that we have in my Jira account. Okay, Black Hole, Bug Tracking, Motorhead, Pabli2, Red Draft, Stack Issues, all of them. So basically all the projects that is present here is being simply reflected here. This is because Jira is now integrated with Public Connect. So what if I create a new project? So what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to create a new project. Okay, so the name of the project is uh, Error Fixing. Just a random name that's popping in my head, Error Fixing. And let me just uh, click on Create. Okay, so a new uh, project called as error fixing has been created now since public connect is integrated with this particular jira software let us explore whether this particular project is available in the drop down so here i have refreshed it so it is trying to refresh okay so let us have a look in the drop down do we have a newly created project that is error fixing yes we do have this project called as error fixing this is because the public connect is now integrated with jira so let us select this uh, though the idea is that we are going to create an issue in this particular project that is error fixing now in the base url it's already has been mapped https pabli.altation.net so basically it's the same uh, domain that is showing url showing okay so we you don't have to do anything now in the issue type i'm going to make it as a task okay and in the summary let's start mapping so this is the mapping button when we click this we will find all the data in this particular accordion that is google forms google forms new response in spreadsheet and this is the summary and we have mapped it okay so the summary was python library field now coming to the description let me just again click here and this is the description the priority i'm keeping it as medium now we are not going to mention any kind of label we don't have the data regarding the same now the assignee we have a two or three assignee in my jira account so i am going to assign this particular task to this guy called as satish so when i click on save and send test request it will uh, create an issue in jira so let me do that let me just click on save and send test request okay so the api response is showing the data has been sent to jira so let's have a look so what i'm going to do here is i'm just going to refresh this so this is the newly created project error fixing so let's have a look yes we do have a project called as uh, we do have an issue called as python library failed in the project called as error fixing excellent so this means our integration is working fine so we basically have successfully integrated google forms and jira with help of public connect now before you end this uh, let me just explain you the whole mechanism in a nutshell so i'm just going to minimize this action window and i'm going to minimize this trigger window so basically this is the whole process in a nutshell first you integrated google forms to public connect and then you have integrated public connect to jira so now there is a perfect flow of data between google forms and jira excellent not just these two apps you can integrate up plenty of applications using public connect 
If you have any queries, contact us at admin at the rate Our dedicated team members will help you to automate your workflows. Or better, just visit our website www.pabli.com. It's awesome. Thanks.